everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a new type of video and see if something is really worth it. And the product in question are the Royal and Nickel Moda Circle Brushes. I bought these at Walmart um, and while they go they're really colorful and they go with my whole unicorn vibe thing going on. I really want to see how these guys work. So I'm going to put them to the test. So let's get started. Okay. So I have it on here on my web, uh, my website, on my iPad. What is it that each brush can do? And I picked out the corresponding brush that I normally use because you guys know I don't use beauty blenders and you know what I'm so mad because this zit is like clearing up but then this one wanted to pop up this morning I'm like cute very cute not really so let's go ahead and talk about these brushes there's four brushes that come into the kit there's the big one the next biggest size, the third size, and then the smaller fourth brush size. You can get them at Walmart. Um, I'll talk about pricing and all that afterwards. Um, that's where I got them from. They are colorful, um, but I really do want to put these to the test. I did say in another video that I wasn't really impressed with this one, but I want to try it on camera anyways. So, this one right here, you can use it for a liquid foundation, primer, or setting power. Power. Powder. And excuse any noise in the background. My husband's fiddle faddling with stuff. And please pardon my hair. It's doing its own thing today. I should have pulled it up. So, we're going to put this to the test by putting on my It Cosmetics CC Cream Illumination liquid foundation. I did not want to use my regular one for this project. So, all right. So what I'm going to do, they say that you're supposed to put it on the brush, but I don't want to, that's not how I want to test it. So if you guys want to call me a dumbass or whatever on the comments, have at it, but this is how I want to do it. You do it your way. I'm going to do it my way. So, I'm going to do this half of my face with the uh, Moda brush and this half of my face with my regular brush. So, I'm going to probably put a tad bit more of CC cream on because I need it to cover my whole, the whole, the half side of my face. I can't talk this morning. So, I'm going to put this much on. Okay, same amount, it's just loaded up there different, okay? First, I'm going to, get my hair out of the way, I'm going to go in with my regular foundation brush first. Make sure I don't do my whole nose. Actually, I'm going to put this right down the middle. There. There we go. a line <laughs> All right, get some more up there on my forehead make sure I drag it down to Felicia And this is how I normally put on my foundation, as you guys know. Okay. 
think I'm all blended out. My mirror's up here. I was trying just to use my phone, but I think I'm gonna need my mirror. Why does this look darker than my actual skin tone? Maybe it's because it's got an illuminator in it. Maybe. Because it does look very darker than my skin tone. Alright. This is all done with my brush. One second. Okay. This is all done. This side's done with my brush. As you see, it's basically the same application as what it normally is. There's no swipes or anything because I pounce it. I need to make this a little bit. So I have enough chin area. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that side is done as it normally is with my regular foundation brush. And like I said, there's no swiping. There's no swipes on my face. It's basically a nice blended out application. Now we're going to try this bad boy on this side of my face. I think this one you just like go around in circles or something. Okay, one, I don't already like this. And I'll tell you why in just a second. While it it is making application a lot easier. And I can use either hand. Whereas my brush, I can't use my other hand. Texting me. Okay, so it seems like it's blended out a lot more than with my brush, my actual foundation brush. Because as you see, you see the line where I put my foundation on. I'm kind of nervous about using these brushes, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. So, I actually like the way it looks. It looks more natural than with my actual foundation brush. And it looks well blended. But my problem, it really didn't get into my eye area very well because I do like to put foundation on my eyes because I really do have a lot of hyperpigmentation there and the CC cream helps balance it out because it color corrects while it's settling. Um, so that's an issue. Another issue is how flimsy this head is. I feel like it's going to break at any moment. I mean, I know they're supposed to be like that for so you're able to you know, move this around and get the product all nice and in there. But this worries me a lot. But I will have to say it did put my foundation on a lot faster than the than my foundation brush. I'm going to buff out this line up here because that's bugging the crap out of me. Okay, that looks better. They don't look the same at all because there's still, there's like, there's still some product in my brush. So if I were to take my brush like this, there's still product in my brush. So, um, yeah. Like I said, it took less time. I couldn't get in my eyeball though. Because like I said, I do like to put CC cream in my eye. But only problem I have with this right now is this flimsiness going on. 
Okay, second one says it could go for blush, contour, highlighter, setting under the eye. I'm going to use try it out with my blush to see if it does a better application than what my actual blush brush does. So I'm going to use my Laura Geller Baked in Brighten um, blush in pink grapefruit and see how this is. This is the brush I normally use to put on my, my uh, blush with. Whoa, that's really pigmented. And I didn't think I put that much on. I think I had some leftover blush on my brush. That's not cool. All right, let me. As my nieces were playing with my blush the other day. All right, let me blend this out. Okay. That's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, it is. That's as good as it's gonna get. So, this is how my blush turns out when I use my regular brush. Now, we are going to try this brush. Dip it into my blush. Ooh. That packs on a lot to pigment. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all see my blush is crooked? Let's see if I can blend this out. Okay. Clean down here. Clean up on eye almost as face okay not not liking this at all I don't like this for blush because as you can see I was able to blend it out a little bit and it's not so harsh this side is a totally different story that and it picks up a lot lot of pigment and I, I mean there's nothing on my hand there's nothing left on my hand but it just it's very hard to blend with it too it is very hard to blend it out yeah clean it up a little bit yeah not liking this for blush. I will stick with my regular blush brush. Yeah, not liking this at all. Okay. I look like a clown right now. <laughs> all right, the next brush right here. Says you could use it for nose contour, highlighter, or setting under the eye. I do not contour anything not even my nose i already have enough people claiming i've had plastic surgery done on my nose i don't want to bring it down anymore to this is bothering me i know i'm like seriously cheating but this is bothering the f out of me oh well <laughs> um I do not contour my nose. Like I said, I have a lot of people already claiming I have had plastic surgery on my nose, but my nose is 100% natural and God given. So I do not contour my nose, but we're going to try to highlight with this and I'm going to use my revolution, my makeup revolution, vivid baked highlighter, which you guys know packs a punch. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to use my regular highlighter brush first, swirled around. And there's my highlight. Now I'm going to use this brush and see how it does. So we're around the same number of times that I did my other brush.
I would say that it does pack on more highlighter, but it's very hard to blend out. All right, let's try my nose. Let's see how this says with my nose. I'm only gonna swirl it around once. Yeah, it picks up a lot of pigment, so you have to watch out for these. They do pick up a lot of pigment when it comes to powder. Huh. I do like this for my nose highlight. I do not like it for my cheek highlighter. So I will probably still use this as my cheek highlighter. Not a fan of this for my cheek highlighter. So I'll use this for my nose. Because it does, like, it's perfect for my nose. So... Yeah, um, I'd use this for my nose, not for my cheeks. All right, and last we have this little bad boy right here. Let's be retarded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ombre look with Too Faces Melted Matte in Unicorn with Jeffree Star's Virginity. And one half of my lips, I'm going to dab it on with the Dofa applicator and use my finger. The other half, I'm going to just use this brush. But first, I'm going to put the unicorn on. I'll be right back. All right, I do have unicorn on. I look like a mess. Now, this is not lipstick. This is the zit that just popped up today. And this wasn't the best application, but we're going to roll with it. Now, I'm going to take Jeffree Star's Virginity, and I'm going to try to do an ombre look with it. First, I'm going to shake it. Duh. My blush looks... Ugh. This side of my blush just looks terrible. Yuck. This color bleeds really bad. I was not expecting that. All right, so. You know these smell like watermelon? All right, for this side of my lip, I'm going to put a little bit on, pat it with my finger, pat it with my finger. There we go. All right. That's the side I pat it with my finger. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of this virginity and put it on this brush to see if it will apply better. I have a little bit up here and I know these are probably better for like lip palettes but I don't like I don't like lip palettes at all oh. okay I really do like this to do the ombre effect with because I feel that more of the pigment, please pardon this lipstick application. It looks terrible. Um, but I feel like with this, when I used it for the ombre look, I was able not only to use more pigment or I mean more lipstick, but it also put it on there evenly as to where I had to pat my finger. I have to see what I'm, you know, make sure everything's even and all that jazz. So I do like this one. So in conclusion, I would say I like 
two out of three. I mean, two out of four. Um, two and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, two and a half out of four. I like how this goes on for an ombre look for your lips. I like how this applies highlight on your nose. And I like how fast I was able to put my foundation on with this. The only things I don't like are these flimsy heads on all of them. Um, this definitely do not use this for blush, as you guys see. And they all, all the heads on these things are flimsy like this. So I really don't like that. Um, are they worth the price? They are $16.99 at Walmart. But, if you were to order them off their website, they're $29.95. What? So, I would say for someone who is in a hurry to get their makeup done, especially with this right here, with for your foundation, if you are looking, if you are in a hurry to get your makeup done, I would suggest these. I think they're pretty much worth it. But like I said, I like two and a half out of uh, two and a half out of four. So, um, yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. I'm going to wash this off my face. <laughs> Um, don't forget about the giveaway going, going on right now. We are slowly but surely getting to a hundred. Once I hit a hundred subscribers, then I'm going to be giving away a $50 gift card to Sephora or a $50 Visa gift card. So if that subscribe button is red, it's the wrong color. You need to change it. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Melissa Leah Garrett on Snapchat as Melissa Leah 1223 and on Instagram as Melissa Leah Garrett. Come on over. We have fun on those pages too. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you see one with my face, like hopefully not like this and this gorgeous smile, hopefully not with this lipstick, <laughs> report it because it's fake. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on Saturday. And don't forget. Send me some questions. I have 10 questions right now, and we are filming that video tonight for me and the Hubster for a Q&A. So send me some questions down in the comment box. So I love you guys very much. I'll see you on Saturday. Bye. I look like a clown. Good Lord. I didn't know my blush was that bad. Normally that blush doesn't have much pigment in it. Or look that pink. Maybe I'm down to the point where it's going to start looking pink. I don't know. But dun-dun-dun! Ulta Makeup Remover to the rescue! <laughs>